we had to do something to collect some of our history and house it someplace. That's when the Hunt Museum was born. Hello, hello, doing great. How are you? I'm your train to put my sister's picture in. Okay. My name is Laverne Green Leach. I am a um, curator, one of the curators here at the R.E. Hunt Museum. R.E. Hunt Museum was started in 2010. It houses and tells the story of the R.E. Hunt High School and Union Academy. Union Academy was the first school, first African American school in Columbus. And at, after a few years, they had a thousand students and the building was much too small for all of those. So they decided they would build Hunt and they came right down 10th Avenue and built Hunt. At the time, Mr. Robert E. Hunt was the principal of Union and he became the high school principal at Hunt. And Hunt remained the high school from 1954 until 1970. At integration, Hunt was changed from a high school into an intermediate school. Now, in the years that Hunt was a high school, it was the place to be. You couldn't wait to get to be seventh grade or ninth grade and come to Hunt. It was the band. You hear the band just blowing and you wanted to march. You see the football team. You wanted to be on the sideline cheering. The basketball team, the football team. Hunt was the place to be. We knew that the only way we could capture that and the only way we could allow our children, our grandchildren and others to know what we had done and how it was done was to establish the R.E. Hunt Museum and so we did. Since then we've been here three years. Everything that you see in here has been donated by some single people, some groups of people, organizations, but everybody is trying to tell the story of the African American in Columbus and Lowndes County. This museum is a unique museum in that it tells the story of who we are, who we were, where we came from, and how we got to where we are. We have our educators, our principals, all the people that helped to mold and shape our lives. This area is dedicated to our trailblazers. If you don't know who were some of the first in Columbus, you'll need to come by your museum. If you are in Columbus, if you're visiting or if you live here, you really need to come. This is your history. This is a history about a people. It's a stunning history. We have touched into every field that you could possibly think of. There is a lot to be learned here. We have tried to capture from every angle. We have business and professional people. We have the way we were. It lets you know that there was a struggle, but we overcome. So just to come and see your history is worth it. The last class to graduate for Hunt was in 1970. So Hunt lasted from 1954 to 1970. In 1970, integration was done, so that was the last Hornet. The Hornet didn't fly anymore after 1970. Again, I tell you, Ari Hunt was the school it was our lifeline. And to see it close, to know that the band would never sound again, the football team would never win another game, the baseball team would never play again, to not hear the bounce of that basketball on the floor. We knew that the only way we could capture that and the only way we could allow our children, our grandchildren, and others to know what we had done and how it was done was to establish the R.E. Hunt Museum, and so we did.